Okay, guys, the video is brought by Wayne Levi Price, Tribulation Saints. And I want to make sure that I give thanks to them because they are very knowledgeable. I encourage everybody to go on YouTube and look for these things on Mark of the Beast. Look at what's happening in Walmart. Look at what's happening in your country. Look at what's happening in your government. My friends, these things are not coming around of themselves. So let me just go on to say, as we discussed in the last one, this is part uh, 4B. This would be the last one that I do on this. Guys are getting ready to round up Christians. Every time you use your iPad, every time you use this TV set with a smart chip in it, everything you, every time you use your HP computer, when you use your card at the grocery stores and you purchase a Bible or you go to the Christian bookstores, Uncle Sammy knows it all. You may have noticed that there's surveillance all over the place now. You even make a statement wrong, you can, be, you can be brought right in on charges. They can hold you without a trial, jury, or even an expectation of a release. Those FEMA camps are being built for a reason. Just owning a Bible could make you an enemy of state one day. Maybe that's why the Lord says people will be going to and fro looking for the Word of God and they will not be able to find it. I believe, Lord, I believe, people, that we are actually in the last days. You need to pray for your family. This last message is basically a plead. You need to pray with your family. You really need to go before the throne of grace. Ask the Lord Jesus into your heart by faith. Confess that Christ is the Lord, that God himself raised him from the dead on that day. He took everybody's sins who asked him to take them away with the confession of your mouth. You ask him into your heart by faith, he seals you with the gift of the Holy Spirit of promise. Ask him to direct your path. I tell you of a truth. There are things in the world, guys, that are so terrible. Yes, there are demonic entities in the air. Yes, there are evil and wicked spirits in the air, and they can be used, as the Apostle Paul said, to buffet us. They'll threaten you. They will lie to you. They will tell you, no, 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 you misunderstand. But you stay strong. You stay strong. Has anybody heard of the news stories on TV where a seemingly normal family would all of a sudden, one would just wind up wiping out their whole family? We are dealing not with flesh and blood people but with wickedness in high places. And I don't mean flesh and blood. Those are not ETs you're dealing with. They are not ghosts from the past. Remember what Jesus says? It is appointed unto man to die once, and then the judgment. Well, if a man is to die once, what do you think it is that's appearing as a person? But it is not a person. It is a deceiver. It is wickedness. Those are not poltergeists. They're all one and the same. And those mediums are not talking to your spiritual guides or your spiritual buddies. They're talking to demons. If they ain't filled with the Holy Ghost and hearing from the message of the living God of Israel and His Son, the Lamb of God, and they are not speaking and preaching through the Holy Ghost, and you are not talking to who you think you're talking. These are wickedness that's in high places. And they are deceiving many. Many. And the enemy is counting on it. Those little hotlines you dial up to talk to your medium, and you all of a sudden you get a check for $50,000?
My friend, that costs you. Repent of it. Turn. Stop. Think. Ask God for forgiveness. Because it is a deception. When you shall see these FEMA camps start instituting what they're going to do, I assure you what happens behind those closed doors, you do not want to see. You need to instruct your children now, people. You need to tell them about the love of God that's just waiting with open arms right now. You need to tell your children of what the RFID chip is and warn them. If somebody wants to put a tag around your neck, you let mommy and daddy know about it. If they want to scan your fingerprint on a machine, you let mommy and daddy worry about it and let us know. Christians, you got to stand up. Do not be afraid. I'm telling you from experience that the enemy will come up against you with every kind of deception. He will come up against you and try to threaten. He'll threaten to do things to you and things to your family. But you know what you do? You stand up in faith. And you ask Jesus to give you the peace that surpasses all the understanding and the hope of glory that is in you will blossom in you. It's the love of God that you know the children of God, not the miracle. So when you see false prophets in Israel on that day causing a statue to speak, you're looking right at the false prophet. You need to think. And then when if you are in that place or you're watching that on TV, in the holy place, I told you before, in the holy place is in you. Because when you ask the Lord into your heart, I will live in them. I will walk in them. They shall be my people and I will be their God, saith the Lord God. Amen. Blessed forevermore. And he will deliver you. Stand in the holy place means exactly that. Stand. Put your hands together. Because your chest represents those winged cherubim. And dead center is the heart from where all the issues of life flow. And the Holy Spirit is right there guiding you. You are the Ark of the Covenant. And the High Priest is in you of your salvation. That manna is His Holy Word. And those commandments are scrolled across your soul. So whatever the enemy throws at your mind, you pray, Lord God, cleanse my mind, cleanse my heart, fill my soul with the Holy Ghost forevermore. Because that holy place is wherever you are in the world. When you see these things start to happen, stop. Pray. Seek Jesus. And believe me, friends, you're going to find him. You're the holy place at that moment. You're the Ark of the Covenant. You are the temple in the wilderness. Jesus just removed that veil and you go right in. If you're Catholics, please research the faith that you're in right now. Please. If you're Catholics, and all you wanted to do was serve the Lord to begin with. Research where you're at. I've known a Catholic that used to be a Catholic priest. He found Jesus. Research it. And know that the Lord's waiting for you too. No matter where you are, no matter what you've done, God's forgiveness reigns over all. And who is he that can accuse you if you're doing the will of the Lord? Even if you've made the most grievous mistakes, my friend, don't you think for one minute God can't forgive it. And don't you believe those lies. But above all things, watch. 
because your adversary like a roaring lion is seeking whom he may devour and rip the shreds. The Lord's coming back soon, guys. So soon he's at the doors. Build a pantry, three to six months at least. If you have the means, try to find a country that isn't going to receive that kind of technology for a while. The country I'm going to is India. If you can get there, go. It might be roughly 2030 for the technology gets there. My advice is, all you people are about to retire that are Christians, spread the news around you. Tell people what the RFID chip is. Say, have you ever heard about it? You're witnessing that way for the Lord. Be kind. Offer help when you can. Do the work of an evangelist. Preach in season and out of season. When, you're, when your neighbor needs a little food, give it to them. No matter if they're your enemies. This is what the Lord would have you do for Him. It's not the works that you do. It's not the miracles that you do. But it's by the love you have for one another that you are known. So God bless you. And I really, really pray earnestly that you receive this message. And please go on YouTube. There are so many different things to watch concerning these subjects. And they're more thorough than I have been. YouTube. Trey Smith. You could go to. You could go to Jason on YouTube. You could go to so many places and all you have to do is Walmart, Mark of the Beast. You'd be surprised what you're fine. Did you know that Walmart was is owned by an actual in time of the war Nazi? They were in bed with the Bushes. The Bushes have Nazi ties. Did you know the Catholic Church supported the Nazis? Did you know that? You do now. Please do the research. In Jesus' name, I give you the most biggest blessing I can that the Lord will open your eyes starting today. And may the grace of God be with you. And may the Spirit of the Lord always be within you and upon you. I give you thanks. On the end of the grace for that I do is a revelation I received over 27 years ago. This is the whole reason that I'm alive today. And this is what I pray that you would listen to. This is the most important message I could ever give anybody in Jesus. Please be blessed today and be careful. Amen.